Hi, this is the TriTech analog multi-pressure system and it can be used to create a positive or negative pressure um, using starting with a positive pressure source. So first we'll attach a positive pressure source into this quick connect. You push it in a little ways and then you'll feel some resistance and then you push it in farther and then when you try to pull it out it's locked into place. If you ever need to remove it, you hold the ring in and pull it out. Okay, so first let's go over the parts of the device. So there'll be a particular pressure coming into the input. This is the input flow control and that controls how fast gas is flowing through the vacuum maker right here. This flow control on the output of the vacuum maker controls whether there's going to be positive pressure, neutral, or a vacuum coming out of this exhaust port here. And this is a digital pressure gauge which we'll show later in operation that shows you actually what the pressure is on the output. So the principle here is by Bernoulli's principle as gas flows through in this direction, um, it creates a negative pressure here. On the other hand, if we prevent gas from flowing out the output by turning this clockwise, then the positive pressure is going to be applied directly to the output. On the other hand, if it's completely open by turning it all the way counterclockwise, it's going to create a strong vacuum because there'll be a lot of flow through here and anywhere in between is in between so you can actually get it to where it's balanced and there's no pressure at all. This input flow control is useful for using the minimum amount of gas through the system. If you need a very strong vacuum then this will have to be open more by turning it counterclockwise more if you don't need a strong vacuum this can be turned clockwise to reduce the flow to where you can just get the vacuum that you need using the output control here alright now I'm going to show this device creating a strong vacuum so we have quite a bit of pressure coming into it here about 80 psi and this is open all the way so we're going to get the strongest vacuum we can get when we open the input flow control so when the system is closed at the other end you can see that we're getting around minus 87 kPa so that's a little bit better than minus 12 psi out of a possible minus 14, which would be a perfect vacuum between 14 and 15. And if you open the, the end that it's attached to and allow a little bit of air to suck in, you'll see that the chamber in the pressure in, in the valve here decreases a little bit. Okay, so now as I turn this valve and decrease the output flow, you'll see that we have some control so the vacu amount of vacuum is decreasing decreasing and it's pretty stable if I don't touch it it stays pretty much where I leave it so here's minus minus 6.8 kPa, so that's minus 1 psi. And here is pretty much zero, so it's neutral there. And you'll notice the display is set right now to switch between green and red, so when it's a positive pressure, it goes green. And then in positive pressure as we restrict this, it's easy to get to a very high pressure. And this unit is only set to show about 
100 and something kPa, and then it goes over scale there. So it'll go up to 105 kPa. Of course, the pressure can be much higher than that, but it can't measure it. Okay, so by adjusting this valve here, we can go from positive to negative pressures. And we can also restrict the flow here if we don't need a very strong negative pressure. We can just have less flow. And then we won't be able to get to as strong of a negative pressure as we were before, but we can still do something. With this setting here, we can only go to about minus, minus 2 psi or something like that. But when you open it a little bit more, you can get to a lot more. So you can adjust these two things. You can get to whatever pressure you need, and you can be fairly efficient with, with how much gas is escaping through the system. Thank you very much.